Shane Lee continues. What a catch! What a catch! Inzerman's out of luck. He thrashed that, and Lee took a ripper. Beautiful reflexes, good hands. The crowd love it. The ball was coming to him like a rocket. Inzerman is a big man, and when he hits that ball, the ball can't travel. And he's really given it a big, big thump. Look at that. Really given it a thump. This is a reflex action catch. But that's what the Australians practice. We saw that in the morning. The morning practice sessions paying off for the Australians. Inzamam ul Haq continues his bad run of form. He's out for five. And Pakistan are now 108 for three. But there we go, in the air again, this could be out caught, the ball going down to deep long run, yes he's got him. Dane Lee comes charging in, yes one just got the feeling that they were getting edgy, for some reason, some unknown reason, the fieldsman down there at long on, all he had to do was run in and take the catch. And uh, well, Mr. Johanna I think has got it wrong here. Yes, he did. He miscued it as well. It played a rather funny sound the bat, but actually this wasn't a bad catch by Shane Lee. He had to pick it up first of all, and then he came in, judged it very, very well. Caught it at waist height, no waiting for it to go down below, round about his knees. That uh, was good stuff. And uh, another wicket down that puts the Australians in a strong spot. 60 from 60 now, so uh, the Pakistan side still in with a very good chance. The six wickets in hand there. It's going to be Shane Lee from the Great Southern Stand Out. Well, there you go. Edge onto the stumps, a breakthrough, and suddenly the face of the game changes completely. The man gone, Ejaz, who's played quite beautifully. And Shane Lee has done the trick for Steve Waugh. There's a huge wicket for Australia and they desperately need it. Just came back a fraction off the scene. Shane Lee, brought on by Steve Waugh. He's done exactly what his captain would have asked of him. Get a wicket, particularly that of what Ujaz Army. Played well for 85, but he departs with Pakistan 5 for 201. If you had your choice as Pakistan captain, this is the man you'd want coming in in this critical situation. 5 for 201, Abdur Razak. Lovely shot for here's a man in form. 70 not out down at Bell Reeve Oval. He's marched out now, smashed his second ball for four, tried to smash the first one. Got 51 against Australia in an earlier game, then 40 against Australia up in Sydney. He is in good touch. 16 off 12 with two wickets in hand. Hit it, should be out. Steve Waugh, I think it is getting back. Oh, yes. Mark Moore took the catch. That's a big wicket. High sky trying to hit down the ground was a Macram. We having a very good match. Didn't give him too much width. Captain departs for 14. Nine for 245. Back to the crease. Average of 19. Gone! Big match for Shane Lee, that's beautiful bowling. A very good defensive side, the Australians. Once again, they've applied the pressure. They've won a very tight match from the big crowd. Yes, they have great belief in themselves. And they do things right uh, when they're under the hammer. That run out of uh, Abdul Razak was a big wicket for Australia. Shane Lee held his nerve. Did a terrific job. Finished off with a perfect delivery, crashing into leg stump. And uh, Pakistan will be a bit disappointed because they gave themselves every chance to win that match.